routine procedures like cataract surgery can come along with dramatic complications. One of these dramatic complications is a break in the posterior capsule, which is the border between the lens area and the vitreous cavity. The procedure which has to be performed is called anterior vitrectomy, which means that the surgeon has to handle the vitreous which wants to enter from the back into the anterior chamber. In literature, you find that that complication probably occurs in one out of 100 patients' eyes, which seems to be a rare thing, but you have to know that it can lead to dramatic complications, retinal detachments, blindness of the patient's eye, and the second thing is because it is so rare, it is so difficult to train it. To train these complications, there is no better module than the simulator, I know, because the simulator allows you to repeatedly train the management of the complications and the parameters you train there you can adjust to what you know are the parameters in a real human eye. You notice immediately the complication and remove the instruments. Since vitreous is very transparent, you probably want to choose the opportunity to stain the vitreous in the first place. You can stain the vitreous with trimsolo. Vitreous is behind and in front of the brake. We now change to the anterior vitrectomy. We need a continuous flow and um, a lower flow than what we had for the aspiration of the cortex, which is 50 milliliter per minute in this case. And you can start now. Critical step is passing the brake, yes. And follow the vitreous track to the entry side, to the paracentesis. You see that the brake is going to close, which proves that you did remove vitreous nicely. For the anterior vitrectomy, not only because it really happens, but also because it is so special, there is a special challenge for the surgeon, which is to find the right parameters in the machine. The machine usually does not handle this complication because it's so rare. So if it comes to the parameters like flow, how much comes in, how much suction I have to cause to get the vitreous out, then you have to readjust the machine to what you think are the safest parameters to handle these complications.